What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongware and in today's video we're going to talk about grass seed because before we know it we're going to be throwing down for either a full overseed or if you're doing a full renovation or doing a total kill off we're going to be throwing down for that as well. And in my opinion the most important step when it comes to either one of those is a good quality grass seed. So let's talk about it here today. Let's get started. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know that last fall I overseeded with a Mountain View Seed blend. And I got that at obviously Tuckahoe Ta Turf Farms. I'm very big on supporting Tuckahoe Turf Farms because they're local to me in Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, I just love supporting those guys because it's a sod farm. It's right here in my home state in New Jersey. And what better place to go to to get your good quality uh, grass seed is a sod farm. And the reason being why I chose their grass seed is obviously because of Mountain View Seed. That is the their strict uh, distributor to their sod farm. Mountain View Seed handles all their bluegrass and tall fescue blends. They do have Bermuda there as well, but we're going to strictly just talk about the fescue blend that I use in my lawn here today. So in my personal experience and from what I see is if there's a sod farm in your area, go and check it out because more than likely they're going to be seeding with the seed that they get from a seed distributor. And what better place to get your grass seed from, from a local sod farm. When it comes to growing grass in your area, it really does depend on the environment. And what better place to go, like I said, a sod farm that's growing grass in my state. They know how to treat it. They know what how to water it. They know how to properly grow it. Obviously, they're picking a seed that's going to be good for your area or for my area. So why not go try looking at your local sod farms throughout the country and like i said call them up go check them out take a drive it's all great to support a local business as well and more than likely you're going to have better results if you're going to get seed from your area so obviously last year i went with the 90 10 blend of mountain view seed as you can see it is blue tag certified i'll show you the label that i got right here up on the screen it is zero percent weed seed which is awesome you don't obviously want any weeds in or weed seeds in your bag of grass seed that's why you're paying a little bit extra for a good quality grass seed they really strictly go through they clean the seed they make sure that there's no weed seeds in there because obviously when you're planting a new lawn or you're planting grass seed you don't want weed seeds you don't want to grow weeds in your lawn so i was super happy with the mountain view seed last fall i was saw germination on day four which was awesome i came out of my house i was going to work and i looked down and i'm like whoa it, it, it was already sprouting out of the ground and I would say between day uh, 10 to 14 I was seeing an inch to two inches in uh, a grass blade length in certain spots which was great um, and it just established really good it established quickly which was great you know for going into the uh, you know it's a winter months here we do get snow here in Jersey we got actually a pretty decent amount last year um, and so it coming into the springtime I hit the ground running um, I was able to, you know, throw down my, my fertilizer program and this, you know, this grass just filled in even more. And I'm super happy with what, the way it still looks like today. So this side of my lawn over here is looking really great. Sorry for the air conditioner over there by my neighbors, but you can see it looks really great. I did put a, a sprinkler head along here along the driveway. So there is a little trench right here that will get filled in once we throw down some seed. And then over here on the other side of my house, I had only one little problem area right here. Um, I was late to the game on my fungicide program. And I think that's what that might have caused that area right there. It definitely gets enough water. I did, I did a little a water test. I got a little uh, cup out there and I did I tested it out it's getting definitely enough water in that spot it's not a hot spot so again come Labor Day weekend we'll throw down some uh, nice Mountain View seed that will fill in but I'm super happy overall with the rest of the lawn as a whole last year I was probably down to maybe 10 to 20 percent of grass left and I pretty much started over and I would say in my lawn now I'm probably up to probably 80 to 90 percent grass which is great so I'm able to fill in this lawn even more I can uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna throw down some tenacity this year during seeding so then coming going into the spring of 2023 I'm gonna hit the ground running again I got my fertilizer program down I think now so again it's gonna just look great so I'm super happy that I chose the Mountain View seed from obviously I got at Tuckahoe Tar Farms and I know it sounds like I'm paid by Mountain View seed but I'm not I honestly genuinely just honestly like supporting them I like supporting Tuckahoe Tar Farms I saw really great results this is my own personal experience 
that's what I'm trying to uh, iterate now on my channel it's just my experiences what I've seen and just show people what's going on in my lawn what I'm experiencing and just giving you guys a little bit of an idea what I'm doing and what uh, you guys maybe are, are could do better or I could do better and things like that so this is my own personal experience I saw really great results with a Mountain View seed what are your results have you used any other seed blends uh, have you used you know a nine maybe not a 90 10 blend maybe you're doing more kentucky bluegrass than tall fescue let me know in the comment section below what you guys use at home so just a quick video for you guys here today i know i harped on it last year to find a sod farm in your area but i honestly really think it really does it's worth your while to find a sod farm in your area because more than likely they're going to sell a grass seed there and they're growing a grass seed that's good in your environment in your area that they're selling so why not like i said go get that grass seed and try that out in your area because like i did i saw really great results from a turf farm that's really close to me so go check out a sod farm near you if you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel if you have any questions or concerns on today's video leave it down in the comment section below and if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on tiktok go check me out there and like always guys i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.